What's up guys, Blue Spartan here bringing you guys a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a tutorial in Halo 2 Anniversary Forge and how to lift your vehicles from underground, completely hidden, and bring them up into your map. If you're making a Slayer game, something like that, it's pretty cool. And if you guys want to learn how to make it, make sure to stay tuned for the rest of the video. <laughs> So here we take a look at it, it's locked off to the public if you're putting this in like a Slayer game, you can't get in there. You can even set this to a timer if you wanted to, so at a certain point in your game this could automatically turn on. But right now I just have it so a switch activates this. As you can see there's a gate here blocking. Now there is a way to open this but I completely forgot to put the console switch so you just have to find it. It's right here as I, you just seen. So I'm going to activate this and I'll let you guys see what happens. So first of all it's got unlock the gate so you guys can get through and then you will have your vehicles rise from the ground and I'll tell you guys that's a really cool effect if you want to add this to your own map right now I just have a warthog and a mongoose it's pretty easy to do if you guys want to learn how to do this I'm gonna do a breakdown in forge so you guys can learn how to do this Alright guys, so now that we're in Forge, I am going to do a breakdown on how I made this. I'm not going to start from scratch, but I'm just going to take this thing apart and show you how everything works. So if we go down in the hole where the vehicles come up, you will see that you have a crate here. It's resting on two pillars, but they have these two gates below it, and these two gates push up the crate with the vehicles on top of it. So for your gates that you will keep everything by default except changing the scripting to one you want to do the same for the other gate and then for the crate you want to make sure that its physics is set on normal it is very important that it's a normal so it obeys to the gates you will also need to change the spawn time to one because this thing will despawn when it moves up and you gotta make sure it spawns in right away. Next, because the gates are a little uneven, I have the crate resting on these little decorative rails. You can use whatever you want, just make sure they're not in the way of the gate. And then I just have them just in there just to make it easier for the crate to balance. I don't, cause there's gonna be vehicles on top and you don't want them sliding off. And so when you come up to the top, you want to create a hole the size of the crate so you can walk on it and everything. There's no gap you can fall through. Now for the gates at the top, you're going to do the same thing you did for the gates at the bottom. You're going to set the broadcast channel to 1. But the only thing you're going to do different up here is you're going to flip the gates backwards. So you're going to want to do the opposite of what you did at the bottom. So I have it flip the gates around because you want the gates to retract while the bottom gates that lift up the crate come out and push the crate up. I know that may sound a little confusing but you just want the top gates to have the opposite movement as the gates at the bottom. Now to keep the mechanical work hidden I use some walls and some blocks to block the gate so you can't see it move. Just if you guys didn't catch this before, you want to make sure the broadcasting channels on all four gates, including the ones at the bottom, to have broadcast channel 1. And then you want to get a switch toggle in your scripting menu, and you want to set it to 1 also. Now you also want to put a console switch there, just so it's visible. If you guys don't know how to use scripting, you can go check out my other video, and I'll teach you guys how to use that properly. But right now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place the switch on the wall right next to it. Now, you don't have to do anything to the settings to the switch. Everything has to be done to the toggle. Like I said, if you guys don't understand, check out my other video. So, I'm just going to put that there now because I didn't do it before. After that, you are completely done with the functional part. All you got to do is put the vehicles on it next, and then you'll be finished. Now, you don't have to do the aesthetic features that I did. I put these warthogs on the top to make it look kind of cool and also symbolize that this is where the warthog spawns. You can really mess around with this all you want. You don't even have to have this caged in like I do. I also have a little antenna just to give it more of a spawning feel and you just play around guys. Do whatever you want with this if you like this idea. Put this in the center of your map and there doesn't have to be anything around it. As far as I know the way now in my exact design I think mine can only bring up war hogs and mongooses in the UNSC vehicle territory um, it might be able to bring up a ghost I haven't tested it myself but like I said guys I used a crate and that could be affected by the normal physics now not every single block can be affected by the normal physics so you really have to play around on what blocks 
can actually be affected by the gates. Otherwise, um, the crate large that I use works absolutely fine. Also, make sure if you do use a large crate, make sure it's not the open version because that will not work. Make sure it is the closed open crate and it will work perfectly fine. So I'm going to respawn some vehicles for you guys and I'm going to show you it one more time just so you can see how this thing looks. It's pretty cool. I would recommend that you put this in any map that you really want. Um, it'd even be cool in an effective map. Maybe after a minute in you'll have a Warthog spawn for the last survivors and it'll just be really cool and add some spice to your map. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want more useful tutorials like this one. This is Blue Spartan, and I'll catch you guys in my next video.